Behind the barbed wire at Britain's toughest young offenders prison is a busy cafe serving specialty coffee. The baristas here at Redemption Roasters are all serving time. We teach young offenders coffee skills with the aim of getting them into employment once they are released. Redemption Roasters teaches young men here how to roast coffee. It aims to break the cycle for people here at Aylesbury Prison. Less than a fifth of offenders leave prison with a job to go to, and yet those who do have a job to go to are nine percentage points less likely to re-offend. In the UK, almost half of inmates are reconvicted within six months of leaving prison. This costs the country $19 billion each year. It's not that all offenders are the same, because some people actually do want to change. I think giving people a chance is the way to move forward in life. When I first got here, I was in myself 24 or 7. It's quite useful for my mentality as well, knowing that two years hasn't just been wasted and that I can actually improve myself whilst being in here. Redemption Roasters teaches these young men how to roast coffee. What we're doing right now is we're cooling down our Brazilian. But they also teach other skills. It's not just the qualifications of learning how to roast and make good coffee, it's all those other skills that an employer is looking for. So punctuality, teamwork, communication skills, customer service skills. The Aylesbury blend is not only sold to prison staff here, it's sold at cafes across the UK. And upon release, the training program helps inmates find jobs. Specialty coffee is, is a very young sector, so um, people are not too judgmental about your background. All the cool coffee shops have something quirky and something special about them. And, uh, and there it's, it's much easier for somebody with a criminal record who has amazing customer service and amazing coffee skills to find, uh, find work. Redemption Roasters says it wants to do more to remove the stigma around employing former prisoners. It plans to roll out its training program at many more of the UK's 121 prisons. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.